Hello everybody, this is Minecraft here, and in today's video I will unbox and review the Seagate external desktop hard drive, which is 4 terabytes. Now let me take this out right here real quick, set it down, and there we go. Now I'm going to take this out and we are going to unbox the Seagate expansion desktop drive. Okay, now that we got that box out of the way, we can start unpacking the main package of the Seagate expansion desktop drive. Now, a, a little quick note here is that this is an external drive, although it's not very portable, it's not called a portable drive. Uh, it's not called a portable external drive, but instead it's called a desktop portable, uh, a, d a desktop uh, external drive. And the reason for that is because this model of the expansion drive has power that goes through the uh, wall outlet so you do need an additional wall outlet to use it you cannot just plug it in through USB so in other words it gets its it does not get its power through USB so this is a bit different than some other external hard drive so now that we got that other way I can finally start unpacking let me just give you a view of the whole box right here uh, we got some additional languages here including Russian um, Chinese um, German and other languages like that now it is cased in like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna tear this open with my hands real quick um, okay there we go now that we got that film a bit teared right here, it can start finally kind of tearing this whole thing off. Now I probably should have used scissors, but uh, I did leave a little dent there, but that's okay. So okay, now we're getting all of this plastic fill off right here. And we can see that this hard external hard drive is super speed USB certified so it's going to be fast now let me take my scissors real quick uh, these are really crappy scissors so please bear with me now I can finally get this seal out of the way this is a bit tight so okay It's a bit hard to film this while I'm doing this, so I'll just cut it open somewhere right here. Okay, we got... Yes, there we go. I finally cracked that seal open, so let's proceed to open the box and look what's inside. I have never opened such a drive before, so I actually don't know what's inside. So I can already see the black part right here, the main external hard disk. So I think that I'm going to have to slide this out like this. And there we go. I think this is the disc. And as you can see, we have that manual right here. Some protector cardboard thingies just to make sure that it does not get damaged during shipping. Okay, so we got these things that protect the drive on both ends. Now we got the manual in the middle right here on several languages. We can see that it's a quick start guide that just explains how to use the drive. This is a bit different from the uh, quick start guide on the internal uh, two terabyte hard drive that I also reviewed and um, opened up. And if you haven't seen that video, you probably should. I uh, where I unboxed and reviewed a Seagate two terabyte internal hard disk. So wow. This is the external hard drive. It's actually quite large, to be honest. Um, it, I think it's about the same size, if not larger, than an internal hard disk. But it is an external one, so we can see that it's protected by a film, so we can get all of that off right here. And that comes off real easy, and there we go. Now let's slide it off. Slide it out right here. And there we go. The design is very sleek very very beautiful on the bottom here we have some specifications of the drive expansion desktop drive now let's see where the ports are I haven't found them yet um, oh yes there we go 
right here right here are the ports right here's the electricity port and right here is the um, data port the, the uh, power port and the data port so the cable should be included with it down there it's a very sleek design and I think we can see uh, these holes go inside to make sure that it vents because the hard disk does generate um, heat when it spins so let's look inside the box and see right down here oh yes looks like the okay let me just move this over uh, so it does look like right here is there's the uh, the wires right here all the cables are included in this kind of cardboard block in here you can see the inside of the box is now empty uh, and I'll just set that down real quick somewhere right here right here we got all the cables in here and what's great with this expansion hard disk is that for internal hard disks of larger than two terabytes capacity, you have to go into the UEFI and configure it to make sure that Windows can recognize drives larger than two terabytes. But as far as I'm concerned, um, as far as I know, you don't need to configure this as much as you need to configure the internal drives. So it's a bit more quick start than the other internal drives. So right here, I can already see the power inverter, which has to be plugged into the um, wall outlet. And yes, I can see this right over here. There we go. Okay, now this is packaged a bit just like the hard drive you just kind of have to take it out the seal out so here's the power inverter and you'll have to plug it into a wall outlet every time you use it and that's exactly why it's called a desktop hard drive because it requires a desktop surface to put on and a plug and right here we can see that this is the power port which I showed right here and let me just show you real quick how it goes on there just to make sure oh I should, probably shouldn't have dropped that like that, but um, it's a bit difficult to film and look through it. But right here, as you can see, this is where it goes in here, and it kind of goes in very easily. And then the other end of this, you do have to plug it into the wall outlet. So, um, And a great advantage of these hard disks that they use external power is because these hard disks spin at 7200 rpm i think i'm fairly sure i'm fairly certain that these hard disks spin as fast as internal drives but don't quote me on it because i i might be wrong but I, i'm i'm most likely correct on that and if we look inside the box here we can see the data cable as well so that's packaged a bit differently than other cables. Okay, I can already see the USB, which is gonna go into the computers, of course. Um, now, let me just see how, or should I just probably rip it? Yeah, I'm just gonna rip this uh, plastic seal off real quick. Okay, now that we got that going, and it's a bit of a weird connector right here, because uh, as you can see, it kinda looks like there's two connectors there but this is gonna slide into the data connector real well. It kinda looks like uh, two mini USBs combined together or something like that. Uh, now as far as for length, it's the, the wire, it's not that long, but I think it's enough to reach from the wall outlet. But of course, this is a drive not, um, you can't use this drive with a laptop unless you have access to an exterior plug, so yeah. Okay, now let's, let, now let me, this is the power inverter right here, oh, crap, yeah, that fell, I probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, these are fairly durable, and as long as you don't drop them from great heights, these probably should not fail. I'm going to use this drive for backups, such as system images, stuff like that, just backup general files, 4 terabytes is way more than I actually need, but just to make sure that I have enough uh, storage to back up all of my data. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut filming right here and then just come back as soon as I plug this in. Okay, now I have plugged in the external hard drive and now we can see it running. It has this little uh, blue kind of LED that lights up and it starts blinking as soon as the drive has activity such as read or write. We can see the power 
cable coming in from here and the USB super speed USB 3.0 3.0 cable coming from here uh, now this power cable leads to my plugs which are right here which is plugged into my wall outlet right here uh, the super speed USB leads back into here where my the USB 3.0 port is and it is very sleek on my desktop and exactly like the name suggests this external hard drive will be kept on my desktop now I'm gonna move on to my PC and talk about the drivers real quick okay now that the hard disk has finished installing all of the drivers which it installed automatically we can now go ahead and look at the contents of the drive and as you can see when we go to my PC right here I was actually quite surprised to find that instead of the default hard drive icon we can actually see kind of uh, a real-life picture or icon of the desktop hard drive which is quite neat because it lets me distinguish the external drive from all of my other drives which look mostly the same uh, for the default icon and another thing that I was surprised is that actually the drive already has some setup files on it so these are all the files that were on it when it opened and I was actually kind of kind of surprised too when this window automatically opened before setup actually installed all of the drivers well Windows automatically installs drivers whenever you put something when, whenever you put inside like a USB drive or something or practically any USB drive when you put inside a any USB drive into any computer it automatically starts installing the drivers well this drive kinda took a longer time to install these drivers it took it about 30 seconds or so to install all of the drivers but for some reason this window actually came up before it completed installing all the drivers so I'm not really sure what this setup is but I'm going to run it anyway I have not ran it yet now let's see is it gonna ask for administrator permissions or not um, Okay, I don't know if it's running or not. This is kind of weird. Oh, there you go. Seagate product registration. So let's see what's that about. Now, if this does require me to put inside the serial number of the hard disk, then I'm not going to film this part. I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe this is some application to help me use the drive or something like that. So did it just... I'm not actually really sure where... Did any icon was any icon supposed to come up because I just clicked on that and this was supposed to bring up some type of uh, window which it did and then it kind of went back down so I'm not exactly sure if it kind of registered my product just by running this uh, operation thingy and as you can see I ran it once more oh and there we go so it wants me to uh, register my product so. Well, other than that, what I'm actually going to do probably is I'm going to uh, end the video here. And if you can see this right here, we can see that the Seagate expansion icon file is right here. So this is exactly where it gets this nice icon right here from that. So I guess you can set an icon for any drive in your system as far as I'm concerned. I'm not really sure how to do that, but I think you can set icons for these drives uh, for other drives if you want to so yeah and we can see that auto run dot inf which means it's supposed to auto run this we can see this is a hidden file folder some registration folder uh, this is probably my serial number here in this dot xml file well I don't think that in this video I'm going to actually test this drive with crystal disk mark but if you want me to test it I'll be more than happy to make a video about that so my conclusion is that I'm actually very satisfied with this drive. Setup was extremely simple and easy. All you have to do is simply plug the drive into your computer. I'm very satisfied with the price of it because I bought it for around, I think, $150 or so. But anyway, I bought it on Newegg, and if you do want to buy this drive, there will be a link in the description, so you can just go down there and uh, click on the link there. This drive is also currently on sale on Newegg, so... I'm fairly sure that the sale will end, um, kind of, it's not going to last long, so if you do want to buy this drive, or if you are thinking about buying this drive, I strongly recommend this, and I would also recommend this drive to a friend, 
And in anyway, this this drive, I'm I'm fully satisfied. I could not see any flaws of this drive. Now I don't know because I have only used this drive for a few minutes or so, and maybe it will fail or something will happen. In that case, I will update the video to ma make sure that you don't buy this drive uh, and I might change my mind like for example if this drive fails in a month or two then I'm gonna change in my mind about this drive but like I said before I'm gonna use this drive for my backups of my system and all of both of these drives so now let's take a peek at the properties down here and yep 3.63 terabytes so in reality 4 terabytes where it says on the box that it's 4 terabytes in reality only 3.63 terabytes is usable and like I said in my last video review about my 2 terabytes in internal hard disk, is that it has to do with that on the packaging, they're writing 4 terabytes, which is, I think it's a thousand, oh, I, actually, yes, I think it's a thousand, uh, oh no, I think that they mean that it's a thousand twenty four megabytes in a terabyte, but here it's a thousand megabytes in a terabyte, or something like that. But, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I would recommend this drive um, to anyone who wants to buy it. I'm fully satisfied with this product. Thank you for watching. This was Minecraft, and see you all in the next video.